At the beginning of the story, we see an officer named Danny. Danny is sitting with his doctor and appears quite troubled. He is explaining the cause of his distress to the doctor. Danny often remembers his daughter who suddenly disappeared one day, and he still has no clue about her whereabouts. Danny tells the doctor that one day he was in a park with his daughter. There was a boy standing near his daughter. Danny mentions that he looked away from her for just a few seconds, and when he turned to look at her, she wasn't there. This incident happened quite a while ago, but Danny still cannot forget it. Danny tells the doctor that his wife had also left him due to this incident. Despite years of searching, he still couldn't find out who had abducted his daughter. The police arrested the boy who was standing near Danny's daughter for the charge of kidnapping, but later he was released due to lack of evidence. At this time, Danny's friend, whose name is Nix, messages Danny and asks him to come outside. Danny leaves the doctor's room and even inside the elevator, he is looking at photos of his daughter on his mobile phone. Danny sits in the car with Nix. Then Nix tells Danny that there is a box in a bank locker that is going to be stolen, and we need to prevent this theft. Nix informs Danny that thefts have already occurred in other branches of the same bank, and the thieves always target locker number 23. They quickly reach the bank. As they enter the place where the bank is, they watch the CCTV recording. In that footage, Danny becomes suspicious of a man. The man, whose name is Lev, is sitting on a bench outside the bank, and a woman joins him. Lev asks the woman for a lighter. The woman tells him that her husband gave it to her, although she doesn't even smoke. After that, Lev looks in the direction of the woman and says that it's very hot today. After saying that, Lev leaves the place. Now Danny becomes suspicious of this person. Lev goes to the security guard standing near the bank, and after saying something to them, he heads towards the bank. Danny also follows Lev and enters the bank. The woman, who was sitting on the bench next to Lev, gets up, and while saying that it's very hot today, she starts walking towards the road. Unknowingly, she ends up in the middle of the road, and there is even an accident takes place while trying to save her. Due to this, everyone's attention is diverted towards the accident. After Danny enters the bank, he meets the bank manager. In the course of the conversation, Danny steals the keys to the locker from the manager. Now Lev goes to the bank receptionist and, gaining control over her, instructs her to bring the same box from the locker room, for which Danny had stolen the keys from the bank manager. Lev is a hypnotist. He had already hypnotized the receptionist and the woman who was sitting on the bench outside the bank with Lev. When Danny opens the box in the locker room, he finds a photo of his daughter inside it, along with the words Find Lev Del Rain written on the photo. The bank receptionist also arrives in the locker room. Danny takes her at gunpoint and starts questioning her about the box. But the receptionist doesn't respond to his questions. Meanwhile, the two security guards, who were hypnotized by Lev outside the bank, also enter the locker room. Both guards attack Danny, but he manages to save himself due to the bulletproof jacket. In reality, Lev had hypnotized everyone there and was using them for his own purposes. Now, the receptionist gets into a car and crashes into Danny's car. As a result, the receptionist also gets injured. Lev takes the box from this girl and leaves a time bomb in her hand before leaving the scene. Danny runs towards the car, in which the receptionist was, before he can reach there, a powerful explosion occurs, and the car gets destroyed. Danny's attention is focused on Lev, who is heading toward a building. Danny follows him. Lev now reaches the rooftop of the building. Two officers take Lev at gunpoint. Meanwhile, Danny also arrives there. Now Lev hypnotizes both officers who are standing with guns aimed at him. Danny now shows Lev a photo of his daughter and asks him about her. When Lev opens the box he is holding in his hand, it is empty because Danny had already taken out the photo of his daughter from that box. Now both officers turn their guns toward each other and take their own lives. Lev then jumps from the building's rooftop. When Danny looks down, there was nothing there. This incident disturbs Danny a lot. Danny tells his colleague officer Nix everything and asks if he knows anything about it. He also shows Nix a photo of his daughter, but Nix says he doesn't know anything about it. At night, Danny is sitting in his house watching all the recorded CCTV footage of Lev. Meanwhile, Nix calls him on the phone. Nix tells Danny that for what you have told me today, you should talk to a doctor who knows about hypnosis. Only he can help you. Nix says that only the doctor can tell you how and why Lev is hypnotizing people. Danny agrees with his friend's suggestion, and goes to see a doctor named Diana. Diana was hypnotizing a person at that time. When Danny arrives there, Diana tells the person, she was hypnotizing to leave. The person leaves. Now Danny tells Diana his whole story. Diana gets upset after hearing Danny's story. Now Danny tells Diana everything about Lev, which makes Diana, worried. Meanwhile, the person whom Diana was hypnotizing and who was waiting outside, Lev comes to him and takes him under his control as well. 
the person quickly rides a motorcycle and rushes into Diana's clinic. Before committing suicide, he tells Danny to stay away from Lev. Now, Danny, his companion Nix, and Diana, all these people come to Danny's office. Diana now tells Danny that you must have heard about hypnotize. Hypnotize is a technique used to control the minds of people and make them do one's bidding. Diana explains that some time ago, the government formed a team of expert hypnotists. The members of this team were so skilled that they could hypnotize people just by looking into their eyes. Nix does not believe all of Diana's claims. Now, Diana hypnotizes Nix to convince him. She tells Nix to feel as if he is a prisoner. Upon hearing this, Nix immediately starts behaving like a prisoner. After that, Diana tells Nix to leave, and he quickly leaves the place. When Nix comes out, Lev arrives there and hypnotizes him again. Danny and Diana continue their conversation. Danny asks Diana, why Lev can't hypnotize me if all her claims are true. Diana tells Danny that there must have been a significant incident that happened in his life that had a profound impact on him. This incident could also involve the abduction of his daughter. Diana reveals that she is also part of the same government team that was formed. The team was given the name Division. Meanwhile, Nix also arrives there, aiming a gun at Danny. Danny tries to calm down Nix, but Nix loses control. Danny is forced to shoot Nix, injuring him. Danny quickly grabs Nix and tries to restrain him, but Nix becomes uncontrollable. Before he can attack Danny again, Diana shoots Nix. Danny becomes very angry with Diana because she had killed an officer. Diana tells Danny that his friend had already died, and she only set him free. Danny and Diana both go to Mexico because Diana had killed Nix, and the police were searching for both of them. To escape the police, they hide in Mexico. They both sit in a hotel, and news about them is being broadcasted on TV. Meanwhile, a police officer enters the hotel and recognizes them. Before he could draw his gun, Diana hypnotizes the officer too. Diana tells the officer to inform their companions that he has seen them heading towards the north, not here. The officer does as instructed. While leaving the hotel, Diana hears a message on the intercom, in which Lev informs the police about their true location. As they exit the hotel, they encounter the police standing in front of them, and Lev is also with the police. Lev had hypnotized the police and brought them along. Danny says to Diana to find a way to escape from here. Danny runs towards the nearby railway station, trying to escape. He experiences strange visions there. The police and Lev start searching for Danny at the railway station. Meanwhile, Lev reaches Danny along with two police officers. Before the police officers can arrest Danny, Diana arrives and saves him, taking him away from there. They needed to gather more information about hypnotizing. They go to a man named Jeremiah, who knows much about hypnotizing, and Lev. Diana tells Danny that Jeremiah can help us capture Lev. Diana hypnotizes Jeremiah's wife and locked her so she could force Jeremiah to tell all she wants to know. After that, she asks Jeremiah to tell her what Lev wants and why he is after them. Jeremiah says that I need Domino. Denny had no idea about Domino. Diana tells Denny that Domino is a very powerful weapon kept in the hypnotist department. She says that this weapon is called Division because it is associated with a division company. Some people wanted to spread destruction in the world with this weapon. This weapon was so powerful that it could even control a hypnotist like Lev. Denny feels that somehow all these things are related to his daughter. At that moment, Denny takes out a photo of his daughter from his pocket. Jeremiah asks him where he got this photo from. Denny says, from the bank locker. Jeremiah tells him to give him the photo. Denny was about to give his daughter's photo to him, and at that moment, Diana suspects that Lev has also taken control of Jeremiah. And it happens exactly like that. Lev appears in place of Jeremiah. Lev attacks both of them. When they both come out from there, they see that now Lev has hypnotized everyone in the market. Now all those people are under Lev's control. These people try to capture Diana and Denny, but the two of them manage to escape from there by riding a motorcycle. While escaping, Denny experiences strange visions again. Diana tells him that what you are seeing is not real. They get stuck in a place. Before the people can attack them, the police arrive, and Lev also appears with them. Lev takes control of the police officers as well. Denny stares into Lev's eyes for a moment, then in the next instant, the police officers turn their guns towards Lev. Denny is unable to understand what is happening to him. Diana is also surprised, but she had guessed that Denny has some special powers within him too. Denny tells Diana that he doesn't know why this is happening to him and his daughter. He asks Diana if he can help shed light on these matters. Diana says yes, I can help you. They then go to a hacker named River, who has created this entire network. River has all the data of the division. Diana tells Denny that if anyone can hack into this network, it would be River. Upon opening the door, Diana finds herself at gunpoint. 
However, when it becomes clear that there is no threat, River takes them both into his lab. Inside the lab, Denny is amazed by the skills of this person. Diana now explains to River how Lev ended up following Denny, and how there is someone who is doing something unknown related to Denny's daughter. Diana tells River that at one point, Denny had also controlled Lev, which surprises River. Now River also suspects that Denny has something special. River first gathers information about Denny from the database, and then about Denny's wife, who turned out an agent of the Division 2. Learning about his wife's secret leaves Denny quite shocked and disturbed. Diana asks the hacker where Denny's wife is located at the moment. The hacker says it will take some time to find out the location. After this, Denny and Diana enter a room. Denny was looking at photos on his mobile phone to recall the moments he spent with his wife. Denny says he doesn't know when his wife became a hypnotist. Diana left the room, Lev calls Danny from an unknown number. He tells him to kill Diana. Lev wants to control Denny, but he refuses to kill Diana and hangs up the phone. Seeing Denny in a distressed state, Diana realizes that Lev has tried to hypnotize Denny. Denny finds a scissor in his hand and can't understand what's happening. Diana successfully manages to calm down Denny. Late at night, Denny wakes up and quietly goes to the lab. He starts searching for Diana's profile on the hacker's computer. The profile that opens is the profile of Denny's wife, but there is a photo of Diana in that profile. He also sees his wife's photo on his mobile, but there is also a photo of Diana on his mobile instead of his wife. Denny doesn't understand anything. Then Denny opens his daughter's profile and realizes that her daughter's other name is Domino, and her parents are also very powerful hypnotists. In fact, Diana was Denny's wife. Someone has messed up Denny and Diana's memories. Denny still doesn't understand anything. Meanwhile, Diana also arrives there. Denny asks Diana where she hid his daughter. Diana says that you are the one who took our daughter away. Now Denny starts to remember some things. Diana says that she wanted to make our daughter a powerful hypnotist, just like this division company made us. But you didn't agree. You wanted to save our daughter from the division. You are the one who abducted our daughter. Denny says that he was the one who saved their daughter from all of them. Then Denny calls all the people of the division company and the next moment, the whole scene has changed. Denny sees all the people there who worked with him, and all those people somehow appear in his memories. Among them are the bank's receptionist, Nick's, security guards, Denny's doctor, and others. Among those people there was the director of the company too, who was none other than Lev. Lev always wanted Domino, Denny's daughter. Nix tells Denny that when we came to take Domino, you had already hidden your daughter and also erased your own memory. We have been trying for four years to find through your memories to find out where you hid your daughter, but we failed so far. After that, Denny runs towards the exit of the building. When Denny comes out, he sees that there are sets all around him. That is, all the buildings or locations shown before were not real. Everything was fake. The bank, Diana's clinic, the police station, and the building's roof, from which Lev had jumped, were all illusions. Everything was fake, and the only purpose was to delve into Denny's memory and find his daughter's location. Even all the buildings were fake. It means that everything that had happened so far was happening only in Denny's mind. Denny was also shocked to see all this because he had never been outside this place. The entire team of the division was at this place, who wanted to obtain the location of his daughter from Denny's memory. Lev says that we have tried 12 times so far, but we have failed every time. Denny says that no matter how hard you try, I won't tell you where my daughter is. After that, these people make Denny unconscious and take him inside the lab. Diana arrives there, and Denny asks her if there was any truth in whatever happened or if it was all a lie. Diana says, I love you, and that's the only truth, nothing else. She asks Denny again about their daughter, but he refuses to tell her anything. When Denny denies revealing anything, the team starts their experiments on him again. Afterward, we see Denny sitting with his doctor. Everything starts again as all of this has happened before. The doctor asks him the same questions as before. Then Denny receives a phone call from his friend who tells him that someone is going to rob the bank. Both of them go to that bank, and all of this is happening within the same building and its surroundings. It means the whole story is running in Denny's mind again. But the division team has no idea that this time Denny is fooling them. Denny gets into a car and starts to escape. Diana tries to control him, but he successfully manages to escape. Before starting the experiments, Denny had written an address in his diary, which falls into the hands of the division team. They become convinced that Denny's daughter must also be at the same location written in that diary. These people follow Denny through a helicopter. Denny reaches a farmhouse gate, where a person opens the gate, and a woman is also present with him. They are Denny's parents. Denny's parents ask him if he came alone. Denny says that he is alone for now, but the division team is following him. 
Denny's parents get ready to confront those people. Denny enters a room where his daughter is sitting, and he becomes very happy seeing her. Meanwhile, the division team arrives there. Denny's father tells Diana that they have taken control of her memories. On Lev's signal, Nick shoots Denny's parents. At this time, Denny comes out of the room and tells Diana that whatever she is seeing is not real, and Domino has never been a part of the division team. This was Lev, who wanted to get our daughter because our daughter possesses a very strong hypnotic power. So the power that no one else in the world has. After that, Denny tells his daughter to come out of the room. Diana is very happy to meet her daughter. Domino tells Diana that they will never be separated again. After that, Diana looks towards Lev, who seems a bit troubled now. Then Lev realizes that he is not in a farmhouse, and at that moment, the entire scene changes. The people of Division start attacking each other because Denny's daughter has taken control of everyone with her hypnotic power. Denny's parents were still alive. Except for Lev, everyone else starts killing each other. Before Lev shoots them, Domino controls Lev's mind and tells him to commit suicide. Domino tries to remind Diana of how a person wearing a red mask had captured her. Diana starts remembering bits and pieces. Denny says that when Domino was born, they had decided not to let their daughter become a member of the Division. They wanted their daughter to live a normal life like any other human. However, Division believed that the daughter of two powerful hypnotists would be an extremely powerful hypnotist herself, infecting the world's most powerful hypnotist. Because Domino's parents didn't want to make her a hypnotist, they had hidden her from Division. And it was not someone else behind the mask, it was Denny, who had hidden Domino with his parents, and after that, he erased his and Diana's memories, so that no one could reach Domino's location through their memories. So, the Division's people couldn't misuse Domino's powers. Now Diana remembers everything. All of them were very happy now. After the credits of the movie, we see Lev, who is still alive. In reality, Domino killed Denny's father instead of Lev. Lev manipulated Domino's mind by gaining control over her. Lev leaves from here. What Lev would do with all three of them, nobody knows. And with that, the movie ends here. <laughs>